in this video we will solve a problem on how to find equilibrium level of income the question is like this when the consumption is 650 income is 750 when consumption is 620 income is 700 assuming there is no government autonomous investment is 100 net exports are 10 what is the level of equilibrium level of income okay so we have to find the equilibrium level of income so what we are being given we are being told when consumption is so let us denote it by uh, c1 initially our consumption is let us say 650 and corresponding to this our uh, income was 750 okay what does this mean that means when we have an income of 750 dollars our consumption expenditure is 650 similarly when our consumption denoted by c2 was 620 dollars at that time our uh, uh, income was 700 okay also we are being told that there is no government expenditure and our autonomous investment is 100 okay and net exporters that means exports minus importers okay exports minus importers uh, that expenditure is 10 we have to find out the equilibrium level of income okay so how do we solve this very question so we know our income identity that our total income should be equal to consumption expenditure plus in this case uh, investment expenditure uh, plus net exports okay x minus m because government expenditure is not being given here now what is our uh, c consumption expenditure so uh, we write the consumption function like this c is equal to a uh, plus b y okay this is our typical consumption function where this a denotes our autonomous consumption that very level of consumption that does not depend upon the level of income this b is our marginal propensity to consume okay it shows or it measures the proportion of extra income that is spent on consumption okay so let us say if an individual gains extra ten dollars okay of which he uh, consumes uh, okay on consumption he consumes six dollars then we say the marginal propensity to consume is equal to six upon ten which comes out to be zero point six okay so marginal propensity to consume is zero point six okay so in this case so if we we can also draw it graphically uh, like this okay we have the graph of uh, marginal propensity to consume like this we have consumption on this axis consumption and we have income okay marginal propensity to consume let us draw it is straight line this is our mpc line okay it shows us change in consumption actually uh, our marginal propensity to consume is equal to change in consumption upon change in income okay so let us denote it like this okay uh, this denotes our change in consumption this denotes our change in income okay so in this case what will be our uh this marginal propensity to consume we can calculate it uh, in this so here you can uh, easily see change in consumption is equal to c2 minus c1 which is 6 or rather we can write it uh, c1 minus c2 okay which comes out to be 650 minus 120 650 minus 120 which sorry it is 620 620 so this is 30 change in consumption is 30 and similarly a uh, change in income change in income means uh, y1 minus y2 uh, which is here 750 okay 750 minus 700 750 minus 700 this comes out to be uh, 50 okay so in this case our marginal propensity to consume that is the mpc will be so let me write it here our mpc is being given by change in consumption upon change in income which is uh, 
30 upon 50 30 upon 50 which comes out to be 3 upon 5 comes out to be 0 point 0 point 0.6 that means uh, our consumption function then this identity will become y is equal to so uh, consumption is equal to a plus b y since autonomous in, uh, consumption is not being given us the value of b which is our mpc okay which is our mpc its value we calculated it came out to be 0 0.6 so we can write it here in place of c i can write 0 0.6 y plus our investment is 100 uh, plus and the exporters uh, net exports are 10 now if we solve this y minus transposing this 0.6 y it will get subtracted 0 0.6 y is equal to 100 plus 10 is 110 so uh, this gives us y minus 0.6 y comes out to be 0 0.4 y should be equal to 100 so this comes out to be so 4 point, uh, point 4 can be written as 4 upon 10 y should be equal to 100 which gives us y is equal to 100 if i transpose this uh, 4 upon 10 it will become 10 upon 4 so this is this comes out to be uh, 4 ones are 4 25 user okay i hope i am making the calculation right here so this is 25 into 10 which comes out to be sorry we have here 110 i was thinking i have made some mistake so 100 plus 10 is 110 so we, here we have 110 110 so and this is 110 transposing it becomes 10 upon 4 okay so this is 2 2 are 4 2 5 are 10 okay again 2 1 are 2 5 are 10 2 5 are 10 so 55 into 5 is 5 5 are 25 5 5 are 25 26 27 that means our equilibrium level of income will be 275 okay so our y star that is equilibrium level of income came out to be 275 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you